Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with a new demo unit that we just got in it. So I just got this uh, new Trailblazer 325 in, um, and this thing has a wireless interface control. So comes in the box, uh, it has a wireless, so we can start, we can change parameters, we can do stuff with this remote. So in this video, we're gonna go over uh, what this remote does, the functions of this machine, your standard 325 outputs, that sort of thing. Um, and then in a second video, we're going to go over some arc reach capabilities. We're going to actually use this thing and weld with it. And uh, we're going to go over some other stuff that's kind of unique to this unit. So let's jump in. Uh, brand, brand new out of the box. A couple of things that I noticed that were different were this, this module right here. Um, so that is for your wireless interface control. So it looks like the, uh, uh, like the satellite receiver on the top of your car or truck. Um, it's very similar to the it's standard basically for all your trailblazer we get now this one has battery charger jump start control on it also um, which is not that you that is an option you got to buy that cord uh, but anyways it has it built in on the front we got our USB port you got your standard 14 pin um, co connection cable and then we have your pro process selector so if we turn on here We'll just kick it on, let it light up. On the process control knob here, we got stick, and we're on the 7018 series. Then we go over to 6010. This thing does carbon arc gouging. We got lift arc TIG, scratch start TIG. We got stick down below here, and we got the either GMAW, FCAW, so that's MIG or flux core, and that's with gas. And then we come over to here gas shielded mega flux core again and then self shielded flux core so we can do every all those processes with this unit um, this unit is pretty unique because we have now a wireless interface control with it so if we we're gonna try and fire this thing up so let's power this thing up um, so it says on there no link so what we're gonna do we're gonna turn the key to the on position you noticed now we're, this machine's coming on, and now you can see that our wireless interface here got fired back up. Now it's showing how many hours are on the uh, unit, which is zero, and then how many hours left till service. So we need, we've got 99 hours till service. Uh, the engine key, light up here in the left-hand corner is saying that we're not running. Let's give this thing a, we'll fire it up. So you press down, then you press and hold for three seconds. And you're gonna hear a series of beeping. Output on, up, in the, up on this screen right here, we're at XX18, which is our stick, which we're good. So to change that, we're on, see how this is highlighted green, 105 amps? We can increase our amperage for our stick, and we can decrease. To go to change our dig setting, which says soft, we can go to neutral on our dig, and we can make it stiff, or we can make it soft on our dig pretty unique and then you hit enter again it bumps over to that so we can get in there we hit the up arrow now we can change our process so uh, just for giggles here let's go to carbon arc cutting so we're gonna hit oh got it. I'm sorry you got it there times out after a couple seconds here gotta hit enter now we're on carbon arc cutting so I can change my amperage for carbon arc and go up or down whatever we're running on there so pretty unique, but if we take a look at the machine also, it changed our setting to carbon arc in the selector mode. So this thing's pretty sweet. I mean, it's, 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 it's we're changing everything. And one more thing I wanted to show you on this. So in the top left-hand corner, we got the little engine running now. We got our gas gauge, so that's gonna give us where we're at. That If that pumps all the way black, we're all the way full. And then you got a battery gauge. Now everyone's asking what the battery gauge is. It's actually for this unit here. So it has a micro USB charger in the bottom. You gotta charge this thing up, which leads me to my next thing, what this thing came with here. Let's shut this engine down. Shut her down there. All right, and then this transmitter here has, a, like I said, a micro USB for charging. So it just has a dust control there. Just a, 
opens up and what it came with here. This is what the box looks like comes inside the machine. It comes with like your quick cheat guide of what all the buttons are and what they what's what they mean and you know the functionality of them. And then what the what I just kind of went over in the screen setting there. What it's going to say. Um, inside this little box is a actually the 110 power for that for the charger. You got your micro USB and then a USB. And then also it has two screen protectors for the front of this unit. So you can see they just go right over the top and then you pull that sticker off the top. Now those will be nice for dust control, that sort of thing. Um, I didn't put mine on because sometimes it's hard to see these things once you get that screen on there as far as through a camera and all of that. But pretty cool. So that's what it comes in this unit. Um, I mean, that's a pretty awesome little device. Because imagine if you're standing up on some scaffolding or something and you've got to change your amperage. You just bump it up, bump it down. You're good to go. You don't have to crawl back down. You don't have to do anything like that. So this unit right here runs about um, $9,400, somewhere in that ballpark, with the control, with the battery charger, and all the, the gadgets on this thing. So down below, we're going to link in our baker's bonus. Um, and there's a, some real good deals going on right now with that. We're going to link all that stuff below. But stay tuned for more videos. Thanks again for watching. Please leave all your questions and comments. We're going to do our best to answer them. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.